you know, to show them and to teach them how to be a woman, you know. So, hey, that's why the men of the Lord, the elect, want to make it and we're going to just start this all over again. <laughs> start it all over again. That's when we're going to start planting the heavens. Because he's going to have to open the heavens up, man, all the babies we're going to have, man. <laughs> For real. I'm gonna have a man, I'm gonna have a old oh, man, I'm gonna have a old oh, oh, man, it's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna have planets to ourselves, man. Out there near the nearest the other suns, man. <laughs> Masters of the universe. Right. Man, they got the sun, they got suns out there that uh, uh, 10,000 of our suns can fit in, man. They so big, man. The most high done created some bugged out shit. <laughs> so don't even act like you can understand it. I'm not gonna try and pretend it. You can think it, the most high probably done created it. You know? That's right. Back to 2nd Ezra's 9. Um, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right, because you say that you read the Bible, this prophecies, you know what I mean, go back thousands of years. It, you know, they done prophesied everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Daniel prophesied the coming of Alexander. Uh, he prophesied, well, you reading the, the prophet, they prophesied all the beasts, the, the four different beasts. He prophesied the Babylonians, the Persian, and, and the order that they came. He prophesied. And then why do you think people are so obsessed with the Bible? Because all these prof prophecies were dead accurate. You know what I mean? You saw shaking in his boots. They prophesied the Romans. They knew the Romans was coming before the Romans even happened. You know what I mean? Right. That's bugged out. They prophesied about the European Union. Yep. <laughs> Imagine that. America's in the Bible. That iron and clay. Your daughter's a lot. Yeah, iron in that clay that can't mix. Get down syndrome in the face. Man, them motherfuckers make Germany, Turkey, Italy. They, oh, they get pissed at America, man. They get pissed, man. They told them motherfuckers, look, they fed up with them. This is the Russian sanctions, man, because the Russian sanctions is hurting them. So they get pissed off at this piece of shit. Man. Looking for cigarette butts and shit on the ground. Nasty ass. Look at him. What's up, what's up, what's up? Well, there you go. That's why she's going to uh, put it in your he's mouth. She's telling her to go get them new tattoos and whatever else. She's probably having threesomes with her and all kinds of shit. A lot of dudes, too, they pimp their own woman out. Pimp their own woman. Just to get a bag of weed or something. Just to get some weed to smoke. Yep. Yeah. I've seen all kinds of examples there just so they can get weed. The nigga, yeah, Same you know, thing. Man, you got you a go. stripper girlfriend. There you go. There I you had go. me a stripper girlfriend before. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but you know, that was back a long time ago. Mm. I would never do that now. That's fucking disgusting. Right. You know, back in you, you in your ignorance and your filth, man. Yeah, we were stuck, I was fucking stupid at one time. Too. And you think, oh, she's not fucking nobody. She's just dancing. Right, right. right okay. Right, right, right. <laughs> Take you back in that champagne room, what they call it. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> Or I'll never do it again. Do it for fun, though. Fucking creep. Pay that bitch and keep going. That's what you're gonna do. What was I at, man? Oh. Here we go. Verse five. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end. And the end is manifest. Hey, that's what your girl said when she came up. That's the end. And then it's that right there. You go to the end right end there. End time programming for the preparation and perfection of the bride of Christ. But they still not throwing the vibration of Israelite, even though she says she's an Israelite. You really, you gotta push that name Israel, man. You know what I mean? We got that that word Christian. You ain't supposed to be pushing that word. You're supposed to be pushing the word Israel. It only what we say it appears in the Bible what three times? Three times, that's it. The, where Israel what thousands? Okay, they, the Christian is thousands. just a nickname, thousands. you know what I mean? Thousands. Now is on a, on every page. It's stressed too. Yeah, like we said, the word Christian is not even in the Gospels. It's not Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. <laughs> What's that name? Yep. 
accurate. And the New Testament says the word theos for God. But when you look up that ancient Greek manuscripts, they used to act in the ancient Greek manuscripts, even though it was written in Greek, they would actually write the Lord's name in Hebrew still. And what is when you go to the Lord is Yahweh? Well in the old well yeah, they'll say pronounce it Yahweh or they'll say it's unknown pronunciation. Hey, it is unknown. You know what I mean? To, it wasn't made known to everybody. The heathen ain't gonna do it correctly anyway. Nah. First of all, they feared the name. But they fear it. So, but, but the so-called Jews, they know that the Lord's real name. That's why you get any Jew up, get a rabbi out here. We'll ask him, what's the Lord's name? Uh, he, he won't say it. Because he knows, what, they, they know what the name is. They know the name. So, you see that wind coming. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. walking over here. With that? <laughs> they know the name. That's that wind, man. When some powerful come out, that's how it is. Hey, how many, how many so-called Jews we had out here talking to? We asked them, everyone, same question. What's the Lord's name? They refuse to say it. Even though the scriptures say to proclaim the name, you know what I mean? They won't say it. Yeah, they know that name. That because the scriptures say the name is a uh, dreadful to the heathen. Yeah, that's what's gonna be. Hey, I'll go ahead. You gotta bring it out. They, they don't like that name. It says Malachi 1 and 14. That name represents their destruction. It says, but cursed be the deceiver. Which have in his flock of male and violent and sacrifice some to the Lord of corrupt thing. For I'm a great king, saith the Howell of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. And yeah, the name is dreadful among the heathen. You know what I'm saying? Where's that? What scripture number was that again? 14, Malachi. Malachi 1 and 14. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why the uh, Amalekites, the East Edomites, who claim to be Jews but are not, but it is synagogue of Satan. They fear the name. They'll call him Hashem. They'll just say the name. And they will never, ever say the actual name. They'll never pronounce that Y-H-W-H. They won't do it. They're most definitely want us to call for the name. Yeah, first of all, you're right. They don't want to confirm that we know the name because we know the name. They try to hide it and conceal it from us. Yep. We know the name of the, the Lord, the, the Father. His name is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And they know that. They try to conceal it. You know what I mean? There's power in that name. It's like we're going. Well, you watch the History Channel or TV, they throw that vibrant Yahweh out there. They give you that Yahweh. You know what I mean? Or Jehovah. Or Jehovah. Oh, yeah, like the King James Bible says Jehovah. Yeah. Imagine all these dumbasses calling for If they get to actually call upon the name of the Lord, we'd be really Yeah. This is Psalms 102 and 15. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth by glory. That's a different type of fear than how we fear. I'm like Bo Cat Malone came out here that one day. He's like, you're telling me heathens don't fear the Lord? But we fear it with the righteous fear. The heathens fear the Lord because they're terribly afraid of, because you know, they're, a, they're a heathen and they're going to get destroyed, like Esau. The name is putting me back in slavery. Right. Because they know that's the power of Israel. Fucking vocab alone. Vocab alone dropped off the planet, didn't he? I ain't heard a peep from him since we talked to him. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? We spread in love. Elohim. Yeah, the Elohim is actually Yeah, the Elohim is actually Allahayim. It's not El, it's Allah. Man, I don't listen to that fool fool. You know, get drunk as fuck. Yeah, he, he got spirits on him. Got demons on them. You know what I'm saying? Cause you, people they rather come up against you than you know than to sup with you. You know, we over here having a dinner, having a feast. That's they coming the up and shitting on the that table. Wasn't the man. Uh, that wasn't a man. All the time he was standing over, you mean to tell me he couldn't come over here? 
All that time you were standing right, over there, right. when the bus come, they get brave. Yeah, I'm barely bu mumbling the bullshit. I couldn't even make what, what, right. what he was saying out. What the fuck are you saying? You ain't got, cause we can talk, you know what I mean? We can sit and talk to people. You got to, you know what I mean? Everybody think, uh, well, like that scripture in Galatians, what I mean, enemy because I tell you the truth? You want to talk about being amongst wolves, that sounds just like a wolf. He said we pushing hate. Wolf. What did we say? I don't hateful. know what that motherfucker was saying, man. He bugged out anyway. Man, he got spirits on ground. He was growling, man. That's some deep, them demons, yep. kids, and spirits. All I heard, he said that we, we teaching hate. Yeah. <laughs> what was we saying right now? We just going into the name of the Lord. How's that hate? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to teach you what the Lord hate, motherfucker. Well, the Lord does hate. You know what That's I mean? right. The Lord That's hates right. That heat. I hate what the Lord hate. The Lord hates that heat. But the Lord's hate, that, that's love for us. Yeah, that's right. That's right. He ain't got to understand it. That's that off balance his doctor. Teeth showing his teeth ground hurt. <laughs> 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 this bugged out. Oh, your boy doing petitions. I didn't even notice. You know he's no better than. For now, he no better than ask who us. They, who are they trying to put in office now? What Edom are they trying to put in office now? He's actually going to just for a job. Uh, you know, Jake is in all high positions in Columbus. Columbus, Columbus. And you see that new Steven Spielberg movie. They said Columbus is the, uh, the biggest, fastest, most city in the United States. Columbus is getting big, though. You see, they just build and build and build. Whatever you call them. Yeah. All on campus, those tower buildings. How that eight name? I would say, we'll stop building, bro. The Lord going, they build, the Lord going to destroy it. Safety patrol. Yeah, get them cranes and all that on camera. The cranes. The cranes. The cranes. The building. The building. The building. The Lord going to destroy all of it. Right. You know It's all going to get pulverized. Boom! That's that, 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 Malachi 1 and 4. Why, as Edom said, you are in Providence, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus, that, that, that proves that Esau is that great builder. All he want to do is build, build, build. That's how we know this was built by Esau. And you can see the red shield with the U.S. bank. That go back to red shield. That go back to that word, uh, Rothschild. The word Rothschild. That means red shield. You can see the red shield. And the red that goes back to Esau. The Rothschilds are called the Red Shield because that goes back to Esau. Well, e Edom means red. Edom. But yeah, Edom is the builder. He's the one that keeps building and building. Oh, you even read in the book of Genesis. Hey, let me uh uh you know Tubal was one of the descendants of Cain, and he was the uh, the expert in building with brass. And all that, because that, that's the spirit of Cain and Esau to build. You know what I'm saying? So that's why that's in Malachi. That's how we know it's Esau that's controlling the earth today. Because he's that builder. Which goes in them the Freemasons. What does the word Mason mean? To, to, it comes from the word of machine. You know what I'm saying? That's why they call this uh this government the machine. You know what I mean? The beast. He just keeps building. All he wants to do is make and build and build. Go ahead. It says, they shall build, but I will throw it out. But so because Esau is a builder of physical things, you know, Israel is a builder of spiritual things. Go ahead. And they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against your, against whom you how will have indignation forever. Right, because the Lord has indignation against Esau forever. There's no repentance for Esau. Esau can't be saved. And you know, only the devil would build some shit like this, man. They done turned uh, paradise into a barren wasteland, you know what I mean? This used to be forest right here, now it's like a, a mountainous region. Mm -hmm. They turned it in greedy too. Because the, the house used to be like, you know, like, elongated with like three, three stories. Yeah. Now they're trying to make it so goddamn long to fit all the people in that. The scripture says, woe unto them that build house to house. Yep. Apartment buildings with Hundreds of apartment buildings in one fucking building. That's crazy, man. Condominiums. Hell, you go to the neighborhood where houses, they still too fucking close together. Look, there's a stack right upon each other. Right, you get like one third or uh, one, uh, two, uh, it's not, it's nowhere, it's not even a half an acre you get, man. 
with some small shits like point. And then you like gotta pay rent. Three of an acre, man. You know. Then and you gotta pay rent. Nowhere in the scriptures say you gotta pay rent. Right. You know, according if you read the Bible, the children of Israel were all allotted their own uh, place to live, and they lived there rent free. <laughs> if anything, the heathen gotta pay us. Damn now we gotta, yeah. Now that's why we're all tributaries right now because the, the Lord has put us in a captivity under under our enemies. That's why you gotta pay rent, you gotta pay taxes, you gotta pay bills, you gotta pay for water. You actually gotta pay for water. You get an actual water bill, the most abundant resource on the planet. You gotta pay for it now. Air too. And air too. You get a slow leak in your car or your bike, man. You gotta go pay for air. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're right though. You gotta pay. <laughs> An well, air pump, and they be flat. waxing now. <laughs> Back in the day, the air pump was a quarter. Now it's like a dollar. I remember when it was free. And it don't even last but a couple seconds. You can be better be quick pumping the tires. It used to be free. Yeah, it used to be free. Every every gas station will have free air, man. They get you everywhere they can. Everywhere. And if you got a bank account with money in it, they pay you to get your own money. Mm -hmm. You, you, you got to pay them to get your money. You know what I mean? What kind of madness is they that? They take your money and loan it out and collect interest off of your money. <laughs> and they only let you take so much money out at a time. Man, so you go to crazy. an ATM, yeah, that's good. then you can only take out $300 at a time at an ATM. Take 200. Uh, a day. Like a day, I only take like $200. And it's they get, if you take too much of your own money out, they'll call the cops on you. They'll block it. They'll, they'll they block it. They'll block it. You're spending too much off. Oh, you're a fucking devil with this shit. Man. Only a devil. Only a fucking, fucking devil. Verse, the second verse is 9 and, and 6. I'm going to start back at 5. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Oh, the end is oh, manifest. Hey, we're gonna, that's a good word. That's a good word for a movie right there. The end is manifest. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's good to me. You're going to see the Lord come out of the heavens with the main. Massive chariot. I've all seen the them chariots. Cover the earth. Hey, man, you get bugged out, bro. That's why. That's another reason. Benny Hill. Hey, man, you see them chariots, man. It's Benny Hill. Benny Hill. That's your boy. They got all, they all fucked up. Right. That was a funny motherfucker, man. Benny Hill, man. I never really watched him. I that watched was him. one of the funniest motherfuckers ever, man. Benny fucking Hill. That was a, man, that was a classic. That show was a classic, man. That was before my days. Remember how you used to slap the old man's head? I used to make the sound effects. I never even watched it. Yeah, that's, that's a classic, man. Was it even like English or something? Or? Yeah, yeah. And Vinnie Hill was a player. That motherfucker, that's all they talked about, how he was always just fucking off the set. You know what I mean? That's all he was doing was chasing women. Drinking and chasing women, man. Yeah, Vinnie Hill. So I he believe it. He was a jank. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> I used it's to crazy. watch uh, Abbott and Costello. Abbott and Costello. I watched a little bit of them. Billy uh, Hill. Verse 7. Verse 6. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Oh, you're going to see those signs, boy. That's the Twilight Zone scripture. Right oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, with them cherries. I want to see, see one of them cherries. Say, what you think about, you know what I mean? This don't make no sense. Or why they shave them off just to draw them back on. Oh, they the eyebrows? I don't get it. I, I don't get they it. They be looking goofy as hell. They're looking stupid as fuck. They shave them off just to draw them back on. Guess them. They get uh, <laughs> tattooed eyebrows. That's crazy, man. Then Michael Jackson had tattooed eyebrows. <laughs> they had his lips with tattooed. Mm -hmm. And they got this. They, they still do that. Mm -hmm. Well, I know some people too, some women. Yeah, I'll tell you about that later. Don't go back today. Ah, let's have it. The right wrong compare. Oh, we getting it in right. We talking about those chariots. You you know about those chariots? That's how the Lord's coming back to the earth. He's gonna come out the heavens in a chariot with legions and angels. That's where the so-called UFOs come from. When people see them unidentified flying objects flying around, just pew, 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 pew. Shoot laser beams. That, yeah, shoot laser beams. That's a, the Lord and the angels. And the scriptures tell you over and over again that they're coming out the heavens in the chariots. The chariots of fire. <laughs> That's why the, uh, the slaves used to, you ever hear that slave song? Swing low, sweet chariot coming to carry me home. 
That day was praying to the my Lord. Grandpa, my dad taught me that. Oh yeah. That's some angels. Yep. Hey, go ahead. On the next clip. On the good side. The Lord side. We we'll see you when you're born over there. Yeah. We'll see you when you're going over there. Yeah. Yeah, I got to go. You big. I don't even know what to call it. I try to take it away. Big daffy duck back. <laughs> <laughs> big dumb mother. Big, big dummy. And that's what's funny. We really are the same on the side. Yeah. Ain't gonna remember this. Hey, hey, let me get, let me get that. Let me get that. You know? We got to get it. You know? Just don't understand, quick. man. They doing us some evil acts. It's evil, man. Lord ain't just gonna let them get away with it that easy. <laughs> All right, because people come by, they give us props, and you know, right. like you brothers are doing a good job. That's not good enough, man. Right. Right. Cheer, right. Cheerleading ain't gonna make it to the, you know what I mean? Cheerleading. Like, yeah, we made it, talked about it last week, cheerleading. The Lord ain't looking for cheerleading. He looking for laborers, you know what I mean? Uh, Daniel, 12 and one, in that time, this going into the same thing you was reading anyway, it's still the spirit. Daniel 12 and 1. And at, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And it shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation to that same time. I'm talking about, you know, that time, that World War III, that, you know what I'm saying, that third woe, that big, big woe. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And thy people mean the children of Israel, the sons of Israel. That's who that people's talking about. Okay? And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Mm. Right, that's in the kingdom. You want to have people in the kingdom. You know, like uh, the Lord said in Matthew 19, the ones that follow me and do this work, I'm gonna put you on them uh, thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. But the ones who didn't do the work, you know, the scoffers, the scorners, the lukewarm uh, brothers, the luke lukewarm Israelite, yeah, you might as well call them wicked. They, they gonna awaken to uh, everlasting shame and contempt. They're not gonna go to hell and burn forever. <laughs> Nah, they're gonna be in, it tells you right here, they're gonna be in the kingdom. <laughs> right. It tells you right here in Daniel, they're gonna be in the kingdom. What they gonna be doing? Ouch, ouch the whole time? Like God. Right. They still gonna be happy to be in the kingdom. The Lord's still gonna show mercy. Right, the Lord is merciful. Shoot. Ain't nobody gonna burn forever. What's what's the watch out work? Fly over five hundred plus trillion. The poorest Israel like be far richer than that. <laughs> far richer. That's the poorest one, man. <laughs> Matthew 5 and 7 or 19. That feeling of shame ain't no joke. It really is no joke. I don't want to, I don't want that. Feeling of shame? Shame? I'm not trying to be that guy. Oh, 